So as you probably know, my name is Steven. And growing up, uh, there wasn't a lot of Hispanic kids named Steven in my elementary, middle school, and high school. There was one other guy. But there wasn't a lot of us running around. It's not really a Hispanic name like Santiago or Juan Jesus Cruz or what have you. So I remember kind of looking around to figure out who is someone famous named Steven that I can kind of look up to. So there was Stephen King, there was Steven Spielberg and Steven Seagal. So Steven Seagal was actually my dad's favorite action hero guy. So we watched a lot of his movies. And I remember thinking to myself, since there's not a lot of people named Steven or Hispanic people named Steven, I wanted to do something to put my name on the map. I wanted to bring the name Steven and make it great. I remember when uh, the movie Troy came out with Brad Pitt. That was one of my favorite movies because Achilles, his character in the movie, his, his whole goal is to be remembered. And a lot of people growing up, uh, even now, are afraid to die or, or afraid of heights or whatever, afraid of clowns. And one of my main fears growing up was fear of not being remembered. So when I was in the first grade, I, st I took up drawing and I wanted to be an artist. I wanted my name and my art to be remembered. Uh, when I got into fifth grade, I started break dancing. And then when I was 14, I started rapping. And that's really where I felt the, the desire to, to rap and make a name for myself. I saw Tupac and Biggie and Rakim and all these other rappers that were just leaving a legacy. And so that's what I started to do. I started to desire to make a name for myself and to make myself known and great that will be remembered whenever I pass away or whenever uh, my kids have kids and grandkids and things like that. I wanted to be remembered as someone who did something. And this is very similar to the, the passage we were talking about last Sunday where you have these men who are coming together and they're all speaking one language and they say, hey, let's make a name for ourselves. Let's do something that hasn't been done. Let's make a building that reaches to the top of the heavens so that people remember and we're not going to be scattered and dispersed because they're going to say, these are the guys who did that. They built something amazing and their legacy is going to continue for generation after generation after generation. They're going to be remembered. And as you continue reading in the book of Genesis chapter 11, the exact opposite happens. God comes down, he sees this little small monument of a, of a building and God just disrupts their, their building and their unity and he scatters everyone. And instead of making a name for themselves, they're known as the Tower of Babel. It was almost uh, the opposite of making a great name for themselves. They made a great foolish name for themselves. And then the story continues on into chapter 12 where God sees his man, Abram, and he tells him, I'm going to make your name great. I'm going to make you great. I'm going to make you a people that's so big that you cannot even count it. And if we look today and we, we try to count all the Christians and, and all the Jewish people and all those who find their lineage back to Abraham, then we see that there's too many to count. We can even just now, there's millions and millions of Christians and there's millions and millions of Jews and, and even, even Muslims that find their lineage back to Abram. And so God keeps his promise. But when God promises him this, he's not saying, hey, I want to make you great so that you can have a great name. And everyone say, hey, look, that's Abram. He, he did something great. But instead, the difference between Abram and the, the men at the Tower of Babel is they were focused on, on just themselves and making a name great for themselves. Why God says, I'm going to make you a blessing so that you can bless others. I'm going to bless you so it can be multi-ethnic, it can be multi-generational, it's going to be longevity, and it's going to point back to me. I'm going to bless you so people can see how good I am, and they're going to say, wow, what, what kind of God is this that blessed Abram? And then they're going to want to turn to this God and worship Him. So I want to encourage you, the promise that God gives us and the promises that God gave you it's not just about you. It's not just about leaving your legacy. That's, that's too small. It's not just about your own family. That's too small. You're still thinking too small. Even if it's a great idea, we can come up with these great ideas and these plans and these, these, uh, this technology and we can create Teslas and, and PayPal apps. You want to build a great name for yourself. You want to do great things. That's good to want to do great things. But why? Check your motives. Check your heart and see, is it just for people who look like you, just for your family, just so you can leave them with something, an inheritance? That's too small. 
God wants it to reach outside of the barriers of people that look like you, outside of the barriers of people who come from your background, outside of the barriers of people with your same ethnic and socioeconomic background. That's too small of a plan. That's too small of a, of a goal for us to have and spend our time and waste our time on. God is calling us to be a blessing. He's blessing us with our gifts, with our talent, with our influence, with our finances so that we can bless others. And many times it's not so that we can bless others so they can bless us back so that we can give to those who can never repay us. So I just challenge you to look at your motives, examine your heart and see why you're building what you're building. Why are you doing what you're doing? And make sure that it's God's plans and not just a good plan. Make sure that it's not just about you and your own people group. You and just building your name for the sake of building your name. Because only what we do for God is going to last anyway.